A couple just had their first son. The husband is half Irish and half Indian, the wife is half Chinese and half Italian. That's a lot of heritage to inherit. They talk about it and they discover they both wish to have their son named after their heritage. A terrible argument ensues, causing both of them a lot of anguish. After a few days, they finally came to a decision that made both of them happy. They decided on the name, Ravi Oli. <laughs> a 15-year-old Amish boy and his father visited the city for the very first time. They wandered around, marveling at the different sights. Eventually, they got to a mall. They were amazed by almost everything they saw, but they were especially amazed at two shiny, silver walls that could move apart and then slide back together again. The boy asked, what is this father? The father, never having seen an elevator, responded, son, I have never seen anything like this in my life, I don't know what it is. While the boy and his father were watching with amazement, a fat old lady in a wheelchair rolled up to the moving walls and pressed a button. The walls opened, and the lady passed between them into a small room. The walls closed, and the boy and his father watched the small numbers above the walls light up sequentially. They continued to watch until it reached the last number, and then the numbers began to light in the reverse order. Finally, the walls opened up again and a gorgeous 24-year-old blonde woman stepped out. The father, not taking his eyes off the young woman, said quietly to his son, Junior, go get your mother. <laughs> a father and son went hunting together for the first time. The father said, stay here and be very quiet, I'll be across the field. A little while later, the father heard a blood-curdling scream, so he ran back to his son. What's wrong? The father asked, I thought I told you to be quiet. The boy answered, look, I was quiet when the snake slithered across my feet. I was quiet when the bear breathed down my neck. I didn't move a muscle when the skunk climbed over my shoulder. I closed my eyes and held my breath when the wasp stung me. I didn't cough when I swallowed the gnat. I didn't swear or scratch when the poison oak started itching. But when the two squirrels crawled up my trouser leg, I just panicked when I heard one of them say, Should we eat them here or take them with us? <laughs>